amantia et toro. It means and it indicates a legal separation without a legal divorce. A posteriori, an argument derived from subsequent event. A priori, an argument derived from a previous event. A quo, regarding a court of first instance or the decision or decisions of a previous court known as the court a quo. Ab extra, concerning a case, a person may have received some funding from a third party. The funding may have been considered ab extra. Ab initio, commonly used referring to the time of a contract, statute, a marriage or deed becoming legal. For example, the couple was covered ab initio by her health policy. Abscu hoc. Presenting the negative portion of a plea while pleading at common by a way of special traverse. Actori incumbent probatio. On, on the plaintiff rests the proving. That means the burden of proof. Actus reus. It means a guilty act. Part of what proves criminal liability along with mens rea. Ad coelum. It's abbreviated from QS S Solum Eus S S Q ad colum et ad inferno, which translates to for whoever owns the soil, it is his all the way up to the heaven and down to hell. The principle that the owner of a parcel of land also owns the air above and the ground below the parcel. Ad hominium. It means attacking an opponent's character rather than answering his argument. Ad item to the same thing which means in agreement. Ad litem describes a party designated to represent another party who is deemed incapable of representing himself or herself, for example, a child or an incapacitated adult. Ad quod damnum used in tort law. It implies that the reward or penalty ought to correspond to the damage suffered or inflicted. Afidevi, a formal statement of fact. Alter ego, a second identity living within a person. Amicus curiae, a person who offers information to a court regarding a case before it, also known as the friend of a court. Animus nascendi, the subjective state of mind of the author of a crime with reference to the exact knowledge of illegal content of his behavior and of its possible consequences. Animus possidendi. In order to claim possessory rights, an individual must establish physical control of the rest and the intention to possess. That is animus possenti. Animus revertendi. Wild animals such as bees and homing persons that by habit go home to their possession, used when discussing, discussing ferre nature. The last one is Audi Altrum Patum, refers to the idea that one cannot be judged fairly unless the cases for and against them have been heard.